Welcome back to today's project. We've got a big pile of cordwood left from the Timberwolf Pro HDXL firewood processor. Let's get it whittled down into pizza oven wood and into the barn to dry. While the split force warms up, let's do a little housekeeping to make room for the new wood. We'll fill these firewood bags later in the season, after we've run out of storage in the barn. I dry the majority of my wood under cover in these wood cribs. They are repurposed horse stalls with plastic pallets on the ground and removable planks at the front. Both allow airflow through the wood and I've never had a wet or moldy spot since I've used this method. Works great for me and my climate. Your results may vary. Let's get after it. Two inch splits is the target size for the day. Let me know down in the comments how many cord you think's in this pile. I'll reveal the final tally once I get it all cleaned up. Being right beside the pile makes this a lot easier than it could be. Just turn around and grab the next piece. I'm not completely filling the cribs just yet. I'm stopping near the top of the sides. This allows me to access the neighboring crib with the conveyor. I'll come back later and mound them all up. Being able to easily maneuver the splitter conveyor in between the post and frame of the barn and into each crib really saved me a lot of work.
Now that I'm getting a bit farther away from the wood pile, I'll use the log lift as a table. Stack it high. It easily holds as much as will fit. These cribs hold about 10 to 12 face cord once completely full and rounded up. It's really nice having that much wood under cover. Wedge and cycle time on this splitter really make it easy to put out the small splits for pizza oven wood. Here's a quick comparison of the sides difference in the wood. The larger wood from the Timberwolf Pro HDXL processor is normal firewood sized. The smaller stuff out of the crib is what my customers prefer. Wood fired pizza ovens want a quick even heat with no flavor. And wood fired grills prefer smaller splits both to fit the area between the firebox and grill surface as well as to quickly and easily regulate the temperature. The wood pile is getting a little too far away. Let's bring out the big gun and see if we can move it a little closer. Coyote RX tractor to the rescue. I've got some folks that are looking to make some extra Christmas cash. Hopefully put them to work soon bringing the wood to the splitter. For now though, that's much better. I'm all out of time for today. But good progress on filling the barn. Hoping to have these cribs filled up and the wood out of the elements before any snow flies later this winter.
Fingers crossed. Sure are some beautiful sunsets this time of year. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next project.